six months ago I found a website that does random questions random random stuff the link will be below and I thought you know what I'm going to choose the random questions and I'm going to pick ten first ten that come out I'm going to try and answer them <laughs> hopefully I can answer them all I might skip one or two but I hope not <laughs> I don't know what the questions are going to be they're random if you do like this kind of style of vlog please subscribe hit the like you know what to do and let's just get on with it shall we welcome everybody welcome to my channel my name is Darren Keenan thank you for sparing a few minutes watching this video I do appreciate it if you've seen this website before I do not know I've got it on my phone as I said I don't know what the questions will be it looks a bit like you know if you can see anything there you know that's not I'll, I'll skip this question you know anyway 10 questions I'm going to answer if you could remove something that exists in this world forever what would it be that's quite obvious actually COVID-19 um, <laughs> cancer um, things like that yeah we could do about them couldn't we we could remove them then they can go into depth out of wars and bad people <laughs> so you can, you can, you, this could this could go on couldn't it <laughs> what would you what answer would you give see I'm going to bring it to you as well I've answered it so are you going to answer it as well you know fair, all's fair all's fair okay question two what is something that happened to you that you can't logically explain? I think, personally, it's going to be the dream I had years ago, which I did a vlog before. Um, you know, it's generally the one where I woke up, I was only six or, six or so years old, looked out the window, saw a few UFOs and a few unexplained people. <laughs> and that was unexplainable because that dream i can still picture it now like it happened yesterday and i'm now 50 you know the dream is stuck every detail it's like watching a film and you remember it so that's the weirdest thing that i cannot explain there's all the things as well like ghosts and all the things but oh, that's the best question answer I can, best answer i can give <laughs> again do you want to answer it you answer it yourself by all means if you do want to take part in this kind of stuff the website link will be below in the description box so you can check it out and there's loads of different things you can have random quotes random questions random words random stuff this list goes on and on you know so what's the last thing you complained about noisy neighbors <laughs> as you may know that um <clears throat> Where I live, there's 27 of us, each got our own room. It's like just like college dorms kind of thing, got our own bathroom in the room, it's a bit like a hotelish. And we live here, we work for the company, and you now and again you get a few noisy neighbours. I mean, luckily there's no noise next to me just yet, but there's one across the corridor that's quite noisy and stuff. But hopefully this microphone won't pick it up. <laughs> that's why I got this microphone. <laughs> So that's the last thing I complained about. Again, would you want to answer that? How many have answered now? It's the third one that was, wasn't it? I'm losing track of everything. What was the last meltdown that you witnessed? I think coronavirus. I think seeing some companions. Well, that's what we call ourselves here. We I have a few happy contract things. So, you know, the... Um, I even mean, I melted down a little bit as well. I've seen people melt down. I've seen, yeah, they really need help kind of thing. So I've seen a lot. I've seen that. And then here's, no, here's a long one. What's something that really happened to you, but nobody would believe unless they were there? I think the ghost I saw. Yeah, because I was on that. I was the only one there, of course. Three o'clock in the morning, you wake up and there's a figure of a girl walking past you in a 1920s kind of clothing and staring and smiling at you and then walks past and vanishes and yeah I even moved the table right there and then to a different part of the room so if I wake up and the table had moved the dream happened if not then it was just a dream so yeah woke up and the table was where I moved it to so I don't know I got no solid proof of it and I wish you know I wish you know I wish I could have 
photographed evidence of it. I'll tell you, trust me. Okay, the next question. Do you think you were ever a part of the popular crowd? No, not even on YouTube. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't. I would like to experience it, but not. I think it's a bad part of it, you know, because there's always bad in that kind of stuff, isn't there? It's, it's like you get the trolls, you get the that kind of stuff. When you become more popular and stuff, so far, touch would haven't touched that yet. As you can see, I'm on 1,963 subscribers, so close to 2k. So happy, happy with that. Just hit the subscribe, comment, like or dislike, whatever you want to do. So yeah, so no, I've never been part of the crowd. So I um, I don't know how I've done. I mean, I don't know how many questions I've asked. I'll keep going. On what time? I'll keep going for a few more minutes. Is it better to read books in the electronic form or actual hold a book? For me, this is where it gets a bit weird. Uh, if I hold a normal book, I can read it, but then after a while, I, my sinus is kicking in, I start sneezing because of the paper. And if it's an old book, the dust, my allergies. Electronic, to me, is, a, is more useful because when you're finished, on the page it saves a bookmark so you can go back and it's you, know, you can have so many books in one one tablet but I have a natural book I suppose means more because you put it in the bookshelf and see it so it means more that way so that's the way I see it I haven't got a definite answer but that's about the best I can do <laughs> so the next question why that's a good question because Mother Earth is my best friend. <laughs> because why? Because YouTube makes me happy. It gives me a purpose. The question is just why. So I'm just yeah. So yeah, I just think this platform to me has helped me a lot. Is it is a confidence booster. Yeah, you get bad. But you and good, but you get bad and good in every way you go, the work you do, the places you go, there's bad people, good people. Trolls aren't just on the internet. You know, you, if you work with people who, who bully you, that's another form of trolling, isn't it? So you, I don't think you can ever get away from that kind of stuff, no matter what you do. You know, if social media gets banned completely, you're still going to get bullies, you're still going to get that kind of stuff. So that's why. You know what I'm saying, is it? What can you talk about for hours? UFOs, unexplained, ghosts. Ah, Mother Earth, I don't know, nature. Yeah, I think anything out of, order, out of, out of the ordinary, like UFOs and stuff like that, and that kind of stuff, I could talk for hours and hours, and I'd say, I'm, I'm well away there. <laughs> What's your best one you could do then? What's what, what? What would you talk about for hours? How do you usually react if you receive bad receive bad service? <laughs> I used to hide away under the table. Like if if I brought something that was faulty, I would have been too scared to take it back. I would think, oh, you know, I think I don't know. I always, I always seem to back away from that kind of stuff. But since I've been getting older, I've been getting more wiser and it, I've been starting to put my foot down more. So I would now ring up or complain. I would do that kind of stuff. But before I would have just said, so, well, you know, I'll keep it, I can't bother to pester people. <laughs> what do you wish you understood better? Life. Yeah, definitely life. Definitely. Uh, I think life after I'm going back a few years now but when you're at school when you leave school you don't you're not taught much, taught much about life there's a lot you could learn at school that could help you wish I could understand life more when I was at school what happens after school and the rest of your life and when you get older and things you have to deal with and things you have to cope with and I'll make this a final question has someone ever done a random act of kindness to you it's a good question actually, I need to think about that. 
I think people have, a lot of people have, but yes, Mangum out of kindness, yes. <laughs> the manager of where I live offered me the job as shop manager, supervisor manager uh, for a shop in Dover Town Centre. And the, the act of kindness was like overwhelming. I, would, I never would have expected something like that, you know. Um, yeah, the job lasted, well, it lasted a year and a half, then it didn't work out, the shop closed, but I still had to you know, come back here and start working here. But the act of kindness was like, it was random, I was expecting it. I presume that's the kind of thing it means. Anyway, so yeah, so that's a few questions. I, there's, I could carry on, I could do more, um, you know, I could do random words, talk about random words, subjects. If you want to see more of this, please give a thumbs up, comment below, let me know. And I definitely will because this is something that's uh, just so random. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you doing? It's me, Jack, mate. You've just finished watching probably one of the best videos on YouTube. So why not take a moment to consider subscribing? And if you haven't already, hit the like button and turn the notification bell on. Apparently it helps. I don't know how. It was a good to know, wasn't it?